guys, Christina here. And if you know, you know that I absolutely love to create and decorate stuff. Um, it's just at my core. It's just something I like to do. And for a few weeks, I have been playing with the idea of a geometric wall. So the first phase was to paint my room teal. So I did that. And the second step was to get some gold tape. I did that. So tonight, it's Friday night. Yeah, tonight, I finally got to do my wall. And can I tell you, I absolutely love how it turned out. So this is what we're starting off with. We will see how this goes. This package, I bought it this off Amazon. It doesn't have a name, so let's hope it works. Uh, oh, I need a scissors. And I need a, I hope this is enough. This is gonna be interesting. So I need a scissors and I have my picture reference. So scissors should be somewhere around here. Got my scissors. So what? I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. Very excited about this. So I'm just hoping it comes out the way I want it to come out. <laughs> if not, then we won't have a geometric wall. So, I am so strong in my moving the bed. This happened. So I'm thinking that somehow, some way, I'm going to have to um, use the tape to hide it. So I don't know if this is sticky enough, but we're gonna see. I need a chair, I need a chair. Yeah. So based on the picture reference I used, I'm just placing my first line um, to mirror or mimic what I saw on the picture. And as I drag the tape down, I am using my hand to smooth out any air bubbles or any places where I feel like it hasn't stick to the wall properly. So after looking at the picture again to see where I was going to put my next line, I just put it on the wall and same thing, smooth line by line. And at one point I'm like, Ugh, I hope this is where this should go. But if not, we'll make something work. So the line is looking a little crooked. And then this happened. I was like, just can't be great. But I'm smoothing as I go down. And I'm like, you know, this line looking sort of crooked. But I don't know if I could actually go back and straighten it. So at some point, I'm actually going to try to straighten the top. But I will realize that um, it's really on there. And... It doesn't make sense. So right here, I'm trying to see if I could take the tape off to straighten it. And I was like, no, I'm not going to bother with that because I don't want the paint to come off the wall.
So at this point, I'm just getting a little excited because something is looking like it's coming together. So I am attempting to cover up the mark that I made um, with my bed. So that is what I'm doing here. Just trying to place it to hide the scuffing. So there's still a little white spot that you could see. So I'm placing this next strip of tape to cover that spot as well. At this point, the wall right there was a little lumpy because, you know, I live in an old house. So finding the right placement um, so that it'll be smooth was me just trying to figure out, like, how do I, how do I place this so it doesn't look weird with the lumpiness of the wall?
So here I'm just looking at different places I could probably fill in with lines. Because at this point I am going with the flow and I'm not looking at a picture anymore. So it's just whatever I think looks good is where I put the tape.
finish. I hope you like what I've done here. I love it. I hope you here. So if you don't like it, that's okay. So you just one, but I love it. I love it. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye guys. This is the final product. It is gorgeous. I love it. I really, really, really like it.